What's going on everybody? It's Anna Jamma here and today we are going to go over um, how to fill stop limit orders on your options. Why would you use a stop limit order? How do you how do you set it and what's the purpose of it? So as you can see up here, we have a Palantir contract. We own, we own one contract for 100 shares here. Our price was 48 cents. Okay, we're down 2%. We're, we're popping right around break even right now. All right, so what we're going to do is we have our sell to close up. We hit this little arrow here. We hit our stop limit order okay so as you can see here we've got the contract one we've got our price here 47 cents is is where we're at uh right now we it costs 48 cents we're down two percent so say we're trying to set a 20 percent stop loss on this or if we're super green and we're up 200 percent right now and we want to scale out of a couple contracts this and that if we had say 10 contracts here um selling six of them at a certain price and keeping the rest to keep running this and that so it's super simple for our stop loss um so say we want all right it's already up 38 cents 20 percent stop loss would be around 38 cents we're going to set that stop price at our 38 cents for our limit price we always want to set that limit price a couple cents below that stop price. Now, why is this? It's not necessarily applicable on something like Palantir, but you're in Tesla, you're in the spy, you're in a in a in a in a in a. Uh, uh, option contract that gets a major news catalyst and just starts tanking this and that. You don't want to miss your sell. It could skip right past. If we have a gap down this or that, it could skip right past that stop price and not fill. So this is an extra layer of protection. So what this shows right here is we're going to do three cents here, which is about 10% lower down. Yes, it's a little further than we want our stop loss, but it's an extra layer of protection. More times than not, you will get filled at your stop price. So it's as simple as this here. You select how many contracts we only have one of course but say i had 10 contracts and i want to sell 10 at 10 at 10 percent down and 10 at 20 percent down um that's how you do it so it's perfect it's totally simple here your stop price is going to be more than your limit price your stop price is going to be more your limit price is going to be a little below that give yourself a couple cents there to protect yourself it's simple as that um, that's how you use, uh, that's how you use this feature on Robinhood, the stop limit order. I strongly suggest using it unless you're actively looking at a chart. It's a way to protect profits, a way to scale out. Say you have to go to work and you had 10 contracts, you're up 25%. You want to let a couple run. You set that stop loss. You put, uh, you know, say you, you're selling, you sell eight. And you have two left. You put your last two contracts there and, you know, we're up. We're super green and you're up 100%. You set it at 80 cents and then 75 cents. Do about a three three to 5% uh, below on that limit price. That's about it. That's how you set a, um, a stop limit order on Robinhood, which a lot of people have questions about. Thanks, guys.